Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be making a, a weather vane and it's going to be a Piper Cub airplane and it's going to go on top of my flagpole. <sighs> All right, and I'm going to get started on, I laid out the wing pattern, so I'm going to start cutting some of it out. I just got done cutting one of the, the wing patterns. It's gonna have two wing patterns and it's gonna be doubled. So it'll be twice as thick and one end will be the leading edge, which will have more of a roundness to it. And then it'll be doubled up on the other end. So we got one done. We'll do three more. Um, all right, I just got done um, cutting all these wings out. There's a, a top and a bottom, and uh, I'm gonna weld it. And uh, this is um, 20 gauge metal, and I cut four of them. So now I'm gonna line them all up, and I'm gonna put it on the belt sander and make sure everyone is perfect. And I'm going to clamp them together and then I'm going to take it to the belt sander. Right, um, I put these clamps on to hold it in place where I can get them all the same for they're perfect. So I'm going to take it over to my band, my belt sander. All right, um, I grinded all these uh, wing parts, all the, exactly the same size, and uh, it come out good. So now I'll uh, cut out some more patterns for the, the, the tail wing. All right, um, I cut these out the other day, and um, I cut four of them. They're the wings, and this is the top left, and then there's gonna be a bottom left, and I'm gonna show you how I bend the leading edge. All right, I, um, I rounded this, the front leading edge of the, the, the plane blade, the wing, and now I'm gonna roll this end up and then roll the back end up. All right, um, I got these pretty much set, the two halves, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna gas weld them together, and uh, then I'm gonna form them a little bit after I get them gas welded in case it warped a little bit, and uh, we'll take it from there.
All right, um, I welded these uh, two halves together and um, it's warped a little bit, so i am been trying to get all the, the waves out, but the wave will look kind of natural because when, when uh, all the Piper clubs, Piper club, Piper cup planes, this was all canvas on the wings, so it's going to look a little wavy when they had them, original. So I think it'll come out good, and I'll, I'll finish straightening it, and um, it'll work out good. Um, these um, wings for the back, I'm going to already did one up. I got to bend the lip all the way around and bend the lip on this and then kind of flange weld it all the way around. So here I go. Finished up um, welding this and uh, come out pretty good. And this is the back wing rudder. We go up and down, and um, we're gonna do up the other one. And then it's kind of rough right now, but I'll put my flapper disc on here, sand this all real nice and clean, and it'll look good. Top of this. Um, airplane piece and I, I made two of the sides so I'm gonna bend this piece at 90 and then um, made this the other day so or earlier today so I'm gonna start bending up some more metal Um, I've worked on this for a few days and I'm um, starting to resemble a plane now so it's just a little time consuming and uh, it's looking good and uh, then I'll be able to do the, the body work. And uh, before you know it, it'll look like a plane and I'll be able to do the body work and then I'm going to paint it and put numbers on it and everything. So it'll be pretty cool when it's done. Um, I finished welding this up solid and uh, now I'm going to make the, the underbelly piece and I'm going to cut it out of this piece of metal right here. All right. Um, I got done making this tail rudder and uh, I'm going to put it on there and weld it up.
How are you doing today? Um, I welded a lot of this up this morning and um, I straightened the body and uh, I'm going to weld this windshield and uh, it's looking good. It's starting to look a little bit like a plane. Very good. Thank you. Um, how you doing? Um, I made these uh, landing landing wheels or landing pads to hold the wheels, and I made the tail rudder wheel, and uh, it's coming out good. I'm gonna finish welding this up solid, and then this will be pretty good. And I'm gonna weld some uh, quarter twenty bolts to hold the front wheels on. But it's looking good. I'm going to weld these back, um, rudders on, tail wing, and um, I'm going to put it on like that and get the other one going, all right? Um, I bought these um, these tires at uh, the hobby shop. They came with this plastic one, so I made new ones on the on the lathe. It's quarter twenty. That way I can just screw them on. And that looks pretty good. So.
the two halves of the wings together and then I started welding it to the body of the plane. So it's getting there, it's starting to look like a plane. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty neat up on my flagpole. I'm thinking about tilting at an angle maybe too. Very good, I'm gonna finish welding the wing up and then I gotta put um I gotta put wing supports on yet that come on both sides and I gotta do the back for the back one and then um I'm gonna start doing body work. I bought Bondo and it's all solid steel so I'll just scuff it up and uh do the body work. Um, I'm gonna make these these rods, stabilizer rods for the wings, and um, I'm gonna weld them in and get them all set. I'm pretty much done with this plane. Now I'm going to do a, start doing body work and clean everything up and then I'm going to start putting some Bondo on it and um, get all the waves and make everything look good. Alright, um, I'm just wiping this down after grinding it and I'm going to um, start doing some more, put some more Bondo in it and fill up all the little valleys and everything. And um, I, welded the, I welded a post on there so when it's on my flagpole, it'll, when the wind blows, it'll go with it. So it's coming along pretty good. And um, 
Now I'm just going to smooth it out and make it look good. Look real good. Here's another day. Um, I'm doing the body work to the side of the plane now. I did the top the other day and this morning. So now I'm going to do the sides. And then um, it's starting to look more and more like a piper. All right. Back. Um, I got pretty much all the body work done to the, the plane itself. Now I just have to do the underwing of this and the other side of the underwing, and it should be getting ready to paint. I'm going to get ready to uh, paint this Piper Club, Piper Cub, and uh, I already uh, sanded everything, so I'm going to uh, start spray paint. Um, I got the first coat on, so I'm going to let it dry real good, and then I'm going to put another coat on, and um, we'll uh, see how it comes out. And, um, I'm, um, I painted the plane the other day, probably have probably like three coats of paint on there, and um, now I'm painting in, uh, the windshields and stuff with white, and um, it's coming out pretty good. And then um, I'll finish I'll paint numbers on it and um, outlining stuff in black and the, the rudders and stuff I'll, I'll paint outlined in black. So it'll look pretty cool when it's done. And I ordered a, a prop for the front. And um, so it's coming, uh, coming along. I think it looks good. All righty. How you guys doing? I finally finished this Piper Cub up. Come out pretty good. And um, I'm gonna hang it on the flagpole and see how it works out. And uh, we'll get a little close up of it. And uh, it was a fun project and uh, I'm glad it's over. It kind of uh, took a little while to do, but it's come out nice. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. All right, we're going to put it on the flagpole. Here I go. I'm going to put this piece in there. Oop, I got that backwards. Got a little grease on it. Keep it from rusting. All right, shut it off.
right, um, I'm gonna go get a rag, wipe off all this excess grease, and then we're gonna hoist the, it up. Uh, the plane is up in the air. It looks pretty cool up there. And uh, it's a little stiff, but when we have a hurricane going on, it'll probably swing and move. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it, and it looks cool. So, very good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna make another plane no time soon. Thank you for watching.